you to join me in a bowl of water, but I don't think there's enough room. <laughs> well, that's strange. My water's gone all wobbly. Quick, Bob, it's an earthquake. Earthquake? Here. <laughs> Sounds like it stopped, Bob. Oh, phew. Crying out, Bobby. Looks like I survived a major catastrophe. Funny how the word catastrophe starts with a cat. Bob, to be honest, it was only a really small earthquake, but we did the right thing. A small earthquake? What happened to a big earthquake? Well, in an earthquake, the ground shakes, Bobby. It's all to do with plates. Oh. Raw, oh, raw. Oh. <laughs> no, not the plates you eat <laughs> off, Bobby. I'll tell you what, let's go to Te Papa and talk to my good friend, Dr. Karen Rogers. She'll tell us. Come on. Bye-bye. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Dr. Karen. The Earth is covered in a hard crust made of rock, and this crust is broken into plates. They're called tectonic plates, and sometimes these plates can bump into each other, or they can slide against each other. Oh, I've just got one question, Dr. Karen. What's that, Bobby? Which one's the dinner plate? Oh, Bobby. <laughs> Places where that happens are called fault lines, and you can see on this map that we have a few major fault lines across the country. Over time, they've changed the shape of New Zealand. Whoa, Dr. Karen, <laughs> way to go with a heavy rock lifting. You must have been working out. Actually, they're just two bits of foam, Bobby. Now let's imagine these are two chunks of the Earth's crust. Well, what's that line there? Well, let's say it's a road. It's, it's a, a road. road. <laughs> Now these are two tectonic plates, which are joined together, but they're being pushed in different directions. This one wants to go this way, and this one wants to come this way. Oh, but they're not moving. No, because they're locked in place. Now let's put some pressure on them. Brian, can you give me a hand, please? Oh wow, come on, Brian! <laughs> You're bending rock! A bit more pressure, Brian. <laughs> hey, it moved! Yes, that's right. When there's enough pressure built up, the plates slide against each other and that's released as a lot of ground shaking. On that for an earthquake. Brian and Bobby. Oh, you know, call the poor Brian, but being in a big earthquake sounds pretty scary. Well, it's okay to be scared, Bobby, but there are a number of things you can do to keep yourself safe. Like if you're indoors, it's a good idea to get under something. Like this. No, Bobby, not a rug. What about this? No, not a lampshade either. I got it. This! Whee! Bobby, not an umbrella! Well, what about this then? Nice thinking, Bobby. A strong table or a desk close by is a great place to get under during an earthquake. And there's three simple words to remember. Duck, cover and hold. So duck under a strong table or a desk like this one. Cover, cover yourself. And hold, hold on. Oh, oh I know! <laughs> What's this, Bob? That's the best thing to do, Constable Brian. <laughs> duck, <laughs> cover and hold. <laughs> nice work, Bob. I thought so. <laughs> Hi, Ducky. You might have done an earthquake drill at school. It's the same thing. Duck, cover, hold. And everyone's got a desk to duck under and hold on to. Sure do. But what if there's nothing like a table or desk nearby to get under, Constable Brian? Well, don't go looking for one, Bob, because you really don't want to move that much. So find an inside wall or a door frame. Get into it, duck, cover and hold. You want to be somewhere where something's not going to fall on you. I bet there are some places that's good to stay away from, he said, standing by a bookcase. <laughs> Cap eye, Bobby. Bookcases and tall furniture are great places to stay right away from. A chimney too, because they're made up of bricks going way up to the roof. <laughs> and if they come toppling down, you don't want to be underneath. The other one to watch out for is windows. Keep away from them, in case they break. Oh, hey, Constable Brian, I've got a cunning plan. If there's another earthquake, why don't I just run outside? Because there's a really good chance, Bobby, that you could be seriously hurt by either something falling on you or you falling onto something. I mean, remember, the whole building's going to be shaking. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh, 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 no! 
Call them O'Brien! Call them O'Brien! <gasps> Bob, it's just the camera. Oh, what about you? Mr. Cameraman, can you please stop doing that? That's freaking me out! Thank you. Stop it. Now, if you're outside, it's the same thing. Duck, cover, and hold. You might not have anything to hold on to while you're outdoors, but that's okay. Well, I was thinking holding onto a tree wouldn't be a good idea either. No, nope, Bobby, you want to stay away from trees, tall buildings, or anything else that can fall on top of you. And stay away from power lines especially. Trees can be useful, Constable Brian, especially for us dogs. <laughs> have you finished? Actually, um, I hadn't even started. A little bit of privacy here, please. Oh, Constable Brian, can you get that? You know, it'd be really good if you could tell when an earthquake was going to happen. <laughs> well, we're not very good at doing that, Bobby, but there are some things that you can do to prepare for one. What? Like putting your health on big rubber springs so it will wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble more easily? No, <laughs> I was thinking about some smaller things, Bob, that you oh. could ask your mum and dad about doing. Oh. Like asking them if tall bits of furniture are secured to the wall so they don't fall down. And picture hooks are pushed back tight so it's harder for the pictures to fall down. And you can stick things like ornaments on shelves by placing a little bit of blue tack on the bottom. But remember to ask your mum and dad first. What? What about after an emergency, Constable Brian? Sometimes people get left without any electricity or water for ages. Well, that's why Pace have an emergency kit, Bobby. I'd like an emergency kitty. I could chase it up a tree to cheer me up. <laughs> no, an emergency kit, Bobby. I'll show you. That's an emergency kit. I suppose you could wear it on your head to keep the rain off. <laughs> or use it to light a fire and cook with. And I suppose if you ran out of toilet paper. <laughs> no, Bobby. This is the Yellow Pages, and every house has one. But at the back of the Yellow Pages is what to do during an emergency and also what equipment to put in your emergency kit to make sure that you're prepared. Oh, oh that's pretty cool. Oh. Knock, knock, hello. Who's that? Oh, g'day, Peter. Come on in. G'day, bro. Oh, that Peter from next door? Sure is. G'day, Bobby. G'day, Peter. I wonder if I can borrow some milk. No problems. Thank you. Hey, what are you doing? I'm just showing Bobby our emergency kit. Oh, now that's smart. I've got one of these. Oh, oh Constable Brian, what in an emergency kit? Well, Bob, there's water and mm -hmm. there's even food here as well. Oh, oh dog food. <laughs> you do love me. Oh, and there's a torch, a radio with batteries and some toilet paper. Oh, yeah. That's probably a little bit smoother than that yellow stuff, too. <laughs> so make sure that you check the yellow pages to make sure what to put in your emergency kit. Oh, I feel so much better now. I know a little bit more about earthquakes. <laughs> like, one of the ways an earthquake can happen is when two tectonic plates collide against each other, releasing lots of energy. <laughs> Oh, and not a dinner plate either. And if an earthquake happens, duck, cover and hold underneath something sturdy like a table or desk. And keep away from furniture and objects that could fall on you and from glass that could break. You and your mum or dad can prepare for an earthquake by fastening things that could fall. And by having an emergency kit in case you need it afterwards. Well, now I'm going to get back to my non-wobbly water. I better check up. <laughs> yep, not a ripple. <laughs> Hey, Bobby, you know what that would be if that bowl was filled with milk in an earthquake, don't you? What would it be, Peter? It would be a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> get it? Shake, quake? Oh, stink one. Oh, oh, you better get your emergency kit out, Peter, because that joke was a disaster. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks, Mark. Stay safe. And keep cool. <laughs> Don't worry about that, Bob. Peter always milks those jokes. Fabulous. <laughs> 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 yep, not a ripple. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny about that? There's another earthquake. Why don't I just stay in? Oh, I'm not tired. Not stay in tired. <laughs> That's the opposite. Funny how the word catastrophe has stuck. For more info about this program and for fun things to do, visit www.brianandbobby.co.nz. Just make sure it's Brian with a Y. Brian and Bobby, brought to you in association with Blue Light Ventures and Trillium Trust, with the help of New Zealand On Air.